here in central Indiana, the United Way this afternoon announcing and putting together an economic fund to help individuals and families who have had their lives turned upside down by the coronavirus. Yeah, we love this. And so Randall Newsom is live downtown with more on these plans and what was announced today. Hey, Randall. Hey, how's it going? So a big question that people have for today, this economic community relief fund, where is it going and how much is being spent? We have Jessica DeSanto uh, with United Way of Central Indiana. Uh, first of all, thank you for having us. And how much money are we talking about right now? Today was a big day, $16.5 million pledged um, from major funders in our community led by Lilly Endowment Inc. And we are so pleased to start this investment and get the ball rolling on getting it out to those in need. Um, the coronavirus is affecting all of our daily lives in so many different ways. And the people who really need the help need the help right now. And this is an economic relief fund that we hope to get out to agencies all across our service area to get directly to those who need it right now. Awesome. Why was it so important to get agencies involved and you know, people around the community involved in this effort? They're doing the hard work. They're, they're on the ground. They know exactly the pockets of need in every community. They know the folks right now who are impacted by this um, economic issue. And it really is. It's not just a health issue and we count on them to um, relay this significant investment down to those that need it the most and find out where, what more we could be doing. Awesome, Jessica, thank you so much. And speaking of organizations, we are talking with one of them, Second Helpings, uh, Jennifer Vigrant. Uh, thank you for having us and for you guys, why was it important to be a part of this effort? What an extraordinary thing it is that in our community, the Lilly Endowment, United Way, and CICF, other partners, stepped forward and really anticipated this need before some of us even had a chance to evaluate what the changes we were making were doing to our bottom line. Mm -hmm. So to know that they had been proactive and jumped ahead of this and are there and have our backs, that's huge. What do you feel like those needs are right now for our community? What, what, are, what are people needing out there right now? So we're hearing a lot about people who are concerned about food. You know, for a lot of children in our community, school means food. And we are grateful to our partners at IPS and other school districts who are stepping up and saying, no, we're going to continue to serve children uh, throughout this crisis. But we also know that there are families who are going to need help as more people are home and not earning wages, as our hospitality industry uh, suffers through this crisis. We want to make sure that those families are also served. So we're getting a lot of calls uh, from organizations that are anxious to make sure that the people they serve get the nutritious food they need, and we're working to step up. Thanks in part to the great partnership we have with United Way and so many others. Awesome. What would you say to those people who need that help, who need that help right now? What would you say to them to kind of bring them in and say, hey, we're here for you? We are absolutely here for you. We have a great network of community partners who are talking to each other and collaborating and working together. If you need assistance, the best thing to do is call 211 24-7. They're there. They're tied into the network of social service providers and can help each family figure out what the best solutions are for them. Awesome. Thank you so much. And we have... Uh a brand new community economic relief fund that has just been launched today. Uh, we'll have more information and follow up with you on our website, wishtv.com. I'll send it back to you guys. Yeah, Randall, real quick, I see that uh, text help 2020 behind you. Is that how people can uh, qualify to get some benefits? Here? Yes. <laughs> Yes, no, that is not how you qualify to get the benefits. Okay. That is how uh, you can contribute and volunteer to help the effort. So that's very important. Um, text mm. HELP2020 to 91999. That is how you contribute and volunteer okay. to help the cause. But we will have 211. That is, that is how you call to get the assistance. And then we'll know the organizations that will be involved that you can reach out to directly to get those services. Great. Incredible stuff. Thank you so much, Randall. $5 million. That's incredible. Good Unreal. for them. Please tell them thank you. Uh, my husband is a main fundraiser for United Way. We were talking about how a lot of people counted on those NCAA tournaments, other right. things. They're one pay paycheck away right. from homelessness. So a, this is important. I've got friends, you know, they, they count on the tournament for the camera work, you know, right. audio people, right. you know, or the conventions the scenes, that go TV down folks, in the city. So concession people. There's a lot. Yeah. A lot of people to be thinking about. That's right. Absolutely.